Hey YouTube, this is Logan with Hideaway Homestead coming to you this morning with a video on biochar. So we're here at our home build site and I am taking one of the post holes here, probably do this in a lot of the post holes, um, just to help fire the clay and get it to break up some. Um, I'm building a fire in them to make uh, biochar which now th this biochar I'm not going to charge it with anything it's going to be used to put in around the bottoms of the post to uh, help with deterring insects and stuff like that uh, the the posts themselves will get charred too but uh, this these post holes like this make perfect uh, cheap way to make biochar so if you don't know what biochar is basically it's just burning everything off of uh, a woody material and well it doesn't necessarily have to be woody you can do it out of a lot of stuff but the most common is wood and uh you're you're just leaving behind the carbon and the minerals so um it's one of those things you've got to burn it and uh, get it really hot and rob it of oxygen and so if you think about it this is a lot of people make it in a barrel so this is pretty much just like doing it in a barrel but um <clears throat> doing it in the ground so i mean it's it's pretty cheap uh besides your labor of, of digging the hole i've done it in a cone pit but uh this here seems to be working really well too what you want to do though is you want to make sure that whatever you're starting with um is really really dry so get you some really good dry wood get that fire uh started and get it to uh, get hot and then after that start adding on everything else um uh everything dry if you can if you don't if you can't you can still make biochar with stuff that's still fairly green i mean i i don't think you'd want to just go with uh stuff that's freshly freshly cut but as long as you've given it some time to dry if it's still a little green it doesn't matter it'll it'll burn up so uh we'll stop the video there for a minute and i'm gonna go around and pick up sticks and other stuff that I need to burn and throw in here and get this really hot and we'll come back when it's uh, nice and roaring and full. So here we are, the fire's just about to the top. Um, one of the things I forgot to mention is uh, it was burning really, really clear, but right now you can see there's white smoke. Um, what you want to do is you want to add on material as the fire goes and once you've once you've got it to where everything's burning clear like i say it's starting to clear up right now you want to add on just little by little you don't want to just pile on and pile on so anytime i get a little too uh impatient and throw a bunch of stuff on there it'll start to turn white again so uh i've nearly got it full and uh, we're just going to let this part of the video go until we get the smoke clear again it's about to clear up and uh I was gonna explain just a little bit about what biochar is, why you wanna use it, and then we'll go through and finish out the rest of the process. So biochar is making charcoal and then you, uh, well, char, not charcoal, but just char. You're wanting it to be pure carbon and then you're going to charge it with something. Um, that something needs to be something that's high in, in minerals and nitrogen. Because what happens is, is carbon will absorb nutrient in the soil. So you don't want that when you're going to put it in your gardens or around your plants. What you want to do is you want to uh, uh, charge it, inoculate it with something. Like uh, you can let it soak in manure. You can throw it in a compost pile. I've even put it in a bucket and just peed in the bucket until the bucket was full. And that seemed to work pretty good. Uh, but when you put it on your soil, it, uh, is, is estimated to last for about 500 to a thousand years. Um, this is a technique that the ancient civilizations in South America, in the Amazon, did to create the, uh, terra preta. So, um, it's a proven method. It's, uh, it's a wonderful thing to do. There's a whole bunch of other stuff you can do with uh, biochar. I'm going to be using it for a lot of my filtration systems. Um, 
just as far as uh, anything that's going out that's gray water and black water is going to pass through this to where I'll have it in a um, container that I can change out and then be able to use that for uh, stuff that I want to grow for just like fiber, not really any of my food stuff. But this here is coming along good. As you can see now, the smoke's completely cleared up. And uh, we can just take little pieces here as it clears up and you kind of just add them on. Like I said, you don't want to get too, oh, see right there? As soon as I got it down, it started to turn white again. And then we'll just let it clear up. A lot of it's getting compacted down in there. So that hole there is nearly full of char right now and yeah you can see right there where that red glow is that is actually where the levels come up to now so as you burn it it's going to continue to compact and you'll just add more on so we'll come back when the process is finished and i've got the hole completely full of char and then we'll quench it All right, so we're getting pretty close here to being finished. Um, this is this is perfect right here. This is how you want it. You really can't see any smoke. You have to really look, and you can just barely see um, clear smoke. So, got that flame coming up nice and high. Stuff's piled on. Uh, as soon as this starts to die down, and a lot of it has turned to char, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna poke most of it down into the hole. That I can get and I've got a few more pieces I'm gonna throw on just to make sure just in case if it needs um, some filler and then I'm gathering sticks to throw on at the very end to give it that really hot finish and then as soon as we get that done we'll go on to the quenching all right here we go we're gonna quench this now since it's uh, got all burnt and all turned to char i really need to invest in a tripod i've got this sitting on a stump i hope it doesn't move now a lot of people who do uh bio char i've heard quenching from the bottom is really the best thing to do uh i don't have that option <laughs> in the ground and this is a you know nice cheap way to do it so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pour this water in at the edge so that way maybe all of it will go down to the bottom and that way that steam can rise and maybe clean some of it but we're not looking for just absolutely perfect uh, big time commercial grade uh, char here um, we're you know looking for uh, something that works and that's cheap and that uh, is going to be beneficial for garden infiltration or whatever you're going to use it for so let's go ahead and quench this it's going to take a lot of water there we go you can see that black dust rising up there on the other side so it is having somewhat of an effect of doing the steam cleaning Add another bucket. All right, one more. That's almost filled up the hole. I'm gonna have to go and get a uh, few more buckets. All 
All right, back with the buckets of water. Let's see if we can't quench this thing. Now since we've done our little steam clean there, I'm gonna try to put out this side some more. And just go from the top now. And it's gonna take more. Like I said, it takes a, a, a surprising amount to put this out. So let's go get a couple more buckets. Whew, back once again. We're going to hopefully have it done this time. Oh, yeah, that's got all of it floating. So for good measure, let that go down a little bit. And then we're going to add this next bucket. overflowing now so let that drain down here now here's the test should be cool to the touch there's a big piece right there We'll see if this is finished or not. Uh, yeah, it's not. So you're gonna have some pieces. You're not gonna, oh, and you see how that's bubbling? Inside of that's still hot. So we're gonna take anything that's not finished and just set it to the side. And now you see this right here, this still looks like it's a whole piece, but breaks easily with your fingers. But all this is cool to the touch. Let's see here. Still another big piece. I think some of these are the bigger pieces that I put on at the end. They didn't finish out. That's all right. If you if you have some of that, all you got to do is just take it out and then uh, put it back in the next time, and it'll it'll finish up for you. Oh, yeah, see that one finished all the way through. Get it up here close. And so now what we have to do is we got to get it out of the hole. You got to let it dry, and then we're going to crush it. God, I got my hands dirty. Let's go wash them. All right, so I'm ready to start taking this out, but before I do, I wanted to show you something got some water here this is one of the ways you know that you've made good char and not charcoal so if you touch charcoal and you get your hands dirty it's really hard to get off but you can see I'm just gonna grab this and rub it on my hands All right okay black as soot right now I'm gonna take this is just some green pond water got no soap I'm gonna do this right here Rinse my hands off, rub them a little bit. And if it's char, your hands should come clean. So that's the first test to know that you made good char. Now, uh, let me get my post hole diggers here and we'll start to take some of this out. And as I'm taking it out, it's gonna kind of crush some of it too. So that helps I can get a bigger scoop there we go
something that looks like a tail is not going to be done. That one there looks like it's done. Yeah, it is. Doesn't take much to crush them if they're done. not quite as you can see there's some of them just have a little bit of brown or whatever color the wood was um, in them see like that so you're gonna have pieces here and there the best thing to do really and I didn't do it on this one I didn't do just a perfect uh, jar here oh some of that's still warm so it's gonna be these pieces that are kind of bigger I didn't do the best job when it comes to yeah it's still warm uh, getting just all small stuff but the smaller you can do the better so we gonna get all this that's wet and done see that there won't break so you know it's not ready but uh, we're gonna get all this that is uh, done put in our container and then uh, we're gonna make sure the rest of this is quenched. Well, this video is turning out to be a lot longer than I thought it would. So um, I'm gonna kind of stop the process here and just show y'all uh, the uh, afterwards of, of doing the process. Um, I'll probably make a part two for crushing the drying and crushing the biochar and uh, may even inoculate some of it just to show y'all and get it uh, charged up. But here's, here's the hole. You can see there's water down in the bottom. Now, I like the cone pit better than I do this hole, but this here does fine. And the main reason that I did it here was because I wanted to have a lot of this char in the hole and in the bottom because I'm gonna come in and put gravel in and I'm gonna put my post in. And uh, then around the post, I'm gonna put some borax for fungal and uh, probably put some ash in there too now the thing is is i'm only doing this kind of treatment to the post as, as a secondary like uh, emergency uh, preservative of the post because the whole design of the house is going to make it to where this area never gets wet and that's the the whole life of wood if you can keep it dry it lasts for darn near ever so um, that's going to be the goal there is just to have this for just in case there were ever any moisture in there It also fired that clay. So hopefully if there were any if any moisture were to get in there It would immediately drain away now uh, this here because it is a very deep hole and I was going kind of fast I had some leftovers, but that can just be thrown in the next firing. I Do more of a shallow or well, I'm going to do more of a shallow trench when uh, we start doing this on a more of a commercial scale when I'm in the house and got the sawmill set up where I want it and we're doing our uh, milling and everything. I'll have a whole lot of stuff for biochar. Be using a lot in the garden, the nursery and uh, selling. But this is what we got. I mean, we got a good, I think these are 30 gallon tub, a good 30 gallon tub. Now th this will be a whole lot less when you cr crush it. Excuse me, hiccup there. Uh, but it, it, it's still going to be a whole lot of uh, biochar and uh, or just char to put in filter. So uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Stay tuned for part two where I talk a little bit more about this. And uh, subscribe to the channel for, for uh, part two and more things like this. If this was helpful, please leave a like on the video. And if you got any questions, leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching.